Well, welcome back everyone. Um, we're back in the hangar. I'm up at my current home, which is Viewia Survey. This is, this is Zen. Hello, hello, hello. And hello, Martin. Martin's here. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys. I put a video out saying easy three million an hour. Well, that was in a T6. That went up to five million an hour in the ASP. And then eventually 9 million an hour in the Python. The Anaconda didn't make as much money though. But I did manage to put together a small fortune. So I'm sitting on 61 million. I'm sitting in my Python. And tonight is the maiden voyage. So if anyone's interested in how I made all the money in just the two weeks. I think we did. 260 million in two weeks just off of the mission board and I put a video out earlier on how that works but essentially you just keep trading up into a bigger ship I went lake on type 6 asp and then python I did do it in the anaconda for a while but I'll be honest even though you got more cargo you can only land on a large pad so that balances it out quite a bit <coughs> you could do ten Definitely. million. Yeah, you could do ten million an hour, but you're better off with the Python. As I'm showing you right now, if you see here, Guhati, Guathiti, we've got four million, five million, six million. So from one person, they're offering me six million to go to Guati, and if I'm lucky, and this is something you got to check if you go into the galaxy map. You got to go to Guathiti and check the local if you can. Sometimes it's not there. In this case, it is. And then, as you can see, look at that. Thirty light seconds to. Oh wait, that's Messier Port, Suntzef. So which one are they? This one. Two thousand. So this is the furthest away station in that system, and sometimes that can be five hundred thousand light seconds. So. Yeah. You got to watch out for those because it will take you 15, 20 minutes just to fly from the star to the station. Um, in this case, this isn't too bad. Messier port, that one's closer. So the, the, the highest payout is the one that's furthest. If we go to the next guy, because these guys I'm allied with now because I've used them so much. These guys I'm friendly with. So they're offering me two and a half to go to another place in that town, in that star system. Guathiti again, Guathiti again, Guathiti again. So there's another another six. Of course, they will have changed by the time you come back. But that's essentially the uh, the mission board. It's really easy yes. to do. You start off, like if I find one that I'm comparatively low with. I've actually worked a lot for Silver Mob, but they keep losing. <laughs> they keep on starting wars with people in this... And I've been working for everyone, so Defence Force yeah. has stayed on top. <laughs> yeah. You can actually influence all of the minor factions with your missioning or your yeah. activities, like, such as pirating or turning in exploration data or trading uh, that boosts the control faction. So you can in influence the background simulation. And it's a really complicated system, but. The point is, it is a living, breathing universe of millions of factions, yeah, of like, thousands of factions competing. So at the moment, New Zendi Liberals, they were uh, mounting an offensive, but they got beaten, so now they're in retreat. The League of Zendi Dominion yeah. is in civil war because they lost a station. It's quite interesting mm -hmm. to see it all work like. <coughs> but yeah, so that's mission boards, and you just keep on doing them, guys. You know, I mean, look, this one's 120, so you need quite a bit of cargo space. Um, I'm not going to bore you, because all this stuff is pretty easy to f work out. But um, you could just get lost in it if we want to. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just quickly take him through what I've got on the Python. It won't take long because there's not much on it. Sure. Share the fit because it works. It's made me at least 120 million this ship. So anyway, the I hoarder python. <laughs> I, yeah, I splashed out as well on the paint job, guys. 
I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so after all that, after two weeks of earning the th earning this and the other one. So anyway, what we got is we've got three mine launchers in the large slots, and they're they're class two, and I've put them here because if you put two there for some reason they uh, they don't really deploy properly. I had this problem with the anaconda as well. Sometimes the mines seem to get caught up on the back end of the ship, I don't know. Or on, the, or on the other mines, I don't know. But either way, I find this is reliable. You can take out a python that's chasing you if you get interdicted. Um, I always stick a few mines in their face. And then um, if their shields go down and they run, I let them run. If they keep chasing me, I keep... F keep chucking mine you're out. generous <laughs> yeah i'm generous merciful but you could just escape there's no need yes. to actually uh fight them um yes. uh, under utilities we got a single chaff i find that's enough uh core is basically a d fit with a f with a 5a frame shift drive because we want the longest range um I've gone with class 5 thrusters, so to go down a class on the thrusters. Um, we've down, gone down to a 3A power plant, because again, lightweight, not running any weapons, um, really. The mine launchers don't seem to use power like guns, so... Uh, no, they don't. They four, just launch it. Yeah, uh, obviously, 4D life support. We've got a D class 6 uh, power distributor. I find that's enough... For the boost to actually still work. Mm -hmm. so that's that's that really. And then as for the optionals, we got three class sixty four, so three of the largest ones you can get, and then a thirty two cargo rack with a four D shield generator. Cause like I say again, that's that's about right when you're empty. <laughs> <coughs> Just don't get shot, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, an, it's basically like a bump. If you crash, then uh, it'll pop and it won't damage your ship. So it's, this is sort of like a pillow, really, more than a shield. But it works. We put in a 16-ton fuel tank because it extends the range. Because there's no fuel scoop on this. I find it's easier to just fly. It, all of these missions are within range of a 32-ton fuel tank. But I put on the uh, extra 16 <clears throat> just in case they change the destination mid-route. And I yeah. don't want to, you know. And, you, you know, when you're going station to station, there's no point in scooping. It just slows you down. Um, I've taken the planetary vehicle hanger. That's, you don't need that. You could save yourself six tons easy and drop that. But I do like occasionally driving about in the buggy. So I always have one of those. After having been doing this for two weeks... Like solid standard docking computer because <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered anymore. Okay, I was like, yeah. no, I have done this so many times. So, yeah. Also, the advanced discovery scanner. The reason I fit that, which I didn't explain in my last video, sometimes you'll jump into a system that's never been explored. And so it'll say, deliver it uh, somewhere, and it won't be on the map. So, unless you mm -hmm. have one of these, you don't know where to drop, don't know where to drop it off. The station could have been undiscovered. So that's 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 what that's for. It's rare, but it happens every now and then. And it, like I say, it stops you from having to ditch a run. Uh, I, I only ever got... I never got caught. Um, I always killed anyone that... like. I, I didn't kill the anaconda, though. The enemy anaconda I had to run away from. Um, but I did yeah. find that once I got in the python, it would send pythons after me. Once I got in the anaconda, it would send anacondas after me. So it's a bit, I like how the game scales with what you're flying. And I never noticed it before. Because I'd always been flying like a little hauler or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, yeah. And then obviously p purple paint job. So anyway, without further ado, let's move on. We're going to get out of the, we're going to get into Annie the Explorer. Which I have spent. Why is that red? I don't like it when it's red. What is that? Oh, oh, because I've got cargo. How have I got cargo? Yeah. Oh, they gave me junk. I hate no, it when they do that. Junk. Yeah, it's, it is. It's mission. It's engineer stuff. 
It says heat sink Although engineers interlink. work with junk, so... <laughs> okay, well, I, I don't know what that's for, so I'm just going to sell it right now. I, I need to get in a different ship, so... Never mind. Right. There we go. Now we know why it was red. Because my Anaconda has no cargo. I was running a cargo conda, but... Um, cool, this sound dead thing keeps messing about. So anyway, yeah, the Anaconda, uh, when I had it done for cargo... It took a hundred and... no. I think it was 80 minutes to pull 10 million. Because of the way it makes you fly about from place to mm -hmm. place. And you can only mm -hmm. land on large pads or planets. You have, you'd have to include a planetary landing or two in your run to make yeah. it. And I had to see three different stations to collect missions because there were not enough missions. Like I can show you now actually. Here's the difference guys. So you finally get your big cargo ship. And you think, yeah, I'm going to hit the mission board and take all the missions. And then, I, I, you'll see, you'll see in a minute, guys. And then I thought, oh, what I'll do is I'll earn a new Python with my Anaconda. And then I'll go back to trading in the Python. And since then, I've been fine. So here we mm -hmm. go. Look at this. Four million, four million for 120. Hell yeah. Oh, ship too large. Oh. <laughs> so then you have to do the 3.8. Um, which is for a landing on a planet. 120. It's the same. It's basically the same, but you've got to land on a planet for this one. Which is actually easy. You know, they're a lot more common. But look, you go to the next guy. Um, ship too large. Ship too large. So I could have taken the 2.3. And another one. Ship too large. Oh, well, I wouldn't have wanted to do that one anyway. 28 silver rutile they're easy ones yeah that's like bread right there so yeah but anyway what we've done is we've uh, fitted this one out for exploration with a few differences however i did just learn that i tested out landing this beast last night mm -hmm. and it was kind of bouncy and that was only with a 0.3 gravity so um i am looking to get some new new shields uh so we're, we're gonna hit up the sh we're gonna <laughs> not shields some new thrusters and even if it affects my jump range i really don't care because to be honest um <laughs> if i can't land on a planet i'm not going to be happy because that's what i like i like drive down there get some pictures it's fun yeah so right i'm currently looking at the maps and if you go a little bit out of our way, we can see a quadruple Earth-like world system on 2.5 thousand light years. Wow, away. quadruple Earth-like? Yeah. Well, it'd be worth it'd be worth the scanning. It's a good data. colonization and tourism candidate. <laughs> as long as it's got something we can land on, I'm happy. And we should get there in no time, guys. Um, we're going to be doing a bit of a race to Thor's Eye in a little bit. Although so, we don't have to because it's like 300 light years out of our direction. Maybe next time. 300 light years is nothing, mate. I know it's 10 jumps. It's, it's nothing. 11 minutes-ish. I mean, at the moment, <clears throat> I've got this set up for tourism. So I've got an AFM, a big fuel scoop, and a planetary vehicle hangar. That's pretty much it. What else have I got? I don't need a chaff launcher. Do you have double AFMs, anyway? No, just the one. Okay. I do um, have the doubles. Because I don't know I like why them. I've got a chaff launcher, and I don't really need the docking computer either. So I could even increase my jump range by removing those. Um, you, can. you can, but do you want to? <laughs> no, I don't really care. Because to be honest, I, I need to match my I jump know. range to yours. And if, I mind, if I'm too quick, that's no good. Well... My jump range is 34.4, so... I'm at 34.97. Yeah. Fully, no I've biggie, got a big, big no fuel biggie, tank. man. That's about no the biggie. same. All right, right, so let's meet up outside Coma. I need to get a new... Coma, I need yeah. to get a new engine so I can land on my planets better. Yeah. So, first of all, let's go to the galaxy map. But yeah, guys, uh, 160 million in two weeks... Just running off the mission boards out in Zendi. I mean, I did show in a previous video how to find stations like this one. 
and they are everywhere. It's just an extraction Definitely. system on the edge of your colonized area of space. So they line the game and they they always go into the middle again. So right, C H O M A. Did you say? Uh yes. It's weird. Can't find it. Interesting. I'm I... in it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Kona. No, N-A. N-A. C-H-O-N-A. -A. I found you on the map already. Right. The right. green dot. Follow the green yeah. dot. <laughs> Come on, Root. Oh, wait. It's not doing it properly. There we go. Right, which station are you at? I'll meet you outside. Mood station. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to have to dock up anyway. Smooth. It only has two stations and... You don't want to go to the outpost, so you come here. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Yay, stations killing people who can't undock. <laughs> there is also a landable planet on corner one. High metal content planet, but we don't want to drag Ooh, our stuff. That's so pretty. <laughs> I wish I could control it while I was in that mode. Right, let's get out of here, shall we, people? Right, now wow, the funniest one, two, thing three, about four, this. Five, I, six settlements. <laughs> I always um, scrape my chin on my way out of the dock or something. Oh. I usually you. scrape something on the way out, like, whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Did you again? <laughs> no, no, I'm alright. Usually Actually. I, like, hit the chin on the door on the way out, like, oh! <laughs> Slaps you. Hmm. You just don't realise it's got this big box hanging off the bottom. And the bridge is right up on the top, you know? Yes. <laughs> Prohibited landmines. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like I'm moving, it's crazy. Mm. Love it. So then, I'm going to meet up with Martin, it won't take me long to get there, and then we're going to head up to Thorzai, 